Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this will be a general reading around love to have a look and see what cards slash messages could be helpful for you in matters of the heart. I will be using two different decks in this reading, uh, six cards, reading some reversals as well uh, to see what messages come up for you, what's helpful um, or what you need to know when it comes to love. So let's have a look and see Pisces. Okay, Pisces might be a little bit fickle here. A little bit of back and forth, a little bit of indecision. You're not wanting to offer your heart maybe just yet. You might be skeptical about something, uncertain about something, or the connection is lacking strength in some way. Could also be a Leo. You've got the Strength card. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Three out of six cards are Earth cards. So it may be Taurus, Cap or Virgo that you're dealing with here um, or this person is coming up with this sort of energy. So um, seeing what the cards can reveal here, it would indicate Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Um, things could potentially seem a little bit transactional, Pisces. Now the Six of Pentacles can represent things like generosity, giving and taking, um, fair play, but it's sort of like done by the books. Um, and I feel with the Ace of Cups reversed, it's lacking emotion. Something is lacking a little bit of emotional depth. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you aren't in love or you're not feeling that bond. I think a lot of you are. Uh, but for some reason, things have been maybe as of late or during the week. It may be a little bit back and forth. I don't know if something is too repetitive. It can be a repetitive um, behavior or something that you're doing that keeps happening and that you're not necessarily pleased with. So you may have to think outside the box and do something a little bit different um, because I don't think you're trying anything new with the ace. Aces can be new chapters, new experiences, new creative ways or things to bring to the relationship, um, but it is reversed. So it's almost like you want something to change yet you're not necessarily making the, the, the changes that you could make um, or potentially um, the things that you could do uh, to rectify what it is that's happening around you here, Pisces. Um, now, this may not be for all of you. Uh, the Ace of Cups can point to like um, tradition or religion or um, milestones in love, like marriage, remarriage. Um, you may find out something about um, like your special person may not want to get married. They maybe don't want um to christen their child. Uh, maybe they don't want to move in. They don't want to do things conventionally. You might discover that something that they believe in, their values, may differ to yours. And you'll really be fixated. Page of Pentacles is so fixated on this pentacle here. So you're really going to think and dwell on this, Pisces. And it may, it's almost like you're trying to weigh up the pros and cons. A confrontation could come from this. We see the Nine of Swords. The character here goes up against the bird and it almost looks like quite an intimidating uh, or intense confrontation because the swords can rule communication. If it's not an actual verbal confrontation, it could be that you're sort of ping-ponging uh, because that nine of swords does sit right below the two of pentacles. So you may be trying to sort of wrestling your thoughts, um, trying to weigh up the pros and cons, maybe in the privacy of your own mind, Pisces, instead of actually verbalizing this. So for some, it can be more internal. For others, it can be an actual verbal confrontation um, because the strength card uh, reversed could be like um, the, the Leo, the lion reversed. So you feel like the lion's wrath, it's territorial, it's possessive. So um, the confrontation could, could, could be um, protective in nature somehow uh, for some of you. So things could be um, becoming a little bit transactional. I don't know, maybe if this is finances coming into the way. Uh, finances could impact your connection somehow romantically, perhaps. Um, but I also feel like there is something you may verbalize and it is going to bring you more. So whether things are one-sided or not, I think that it's important to have that balance. And I feel like he takes away the pentacle and sort of dwells on it. So you're there's, there's something here that may happen that you're really going to take away a lot from Pisces. It's going to be a learning curve for you, um, I feel.
Now, for, for singles, there could be someone new coming in, Ace of Cups, perhaps under a water sign. Uh, it could even be a Leo. Uh, but I feel like with the Ace of Cups reversed, um, sometimes I associate these with empty promises. And you may pull up someone, someone about it. Um, but I think they're going to take away a lot something from this too. So if you need to express yourself, Pisces, do so. Because I think uh, whoever this is, whoever you're dealing with, is going to listen. Uh, wants to hear what you have to say. Or wants to give back, wants to be generous. Um, because you see how the bird is taking action. He's just standing there helpless and he's sort of just watching how it unfolds. So maybe one of you is not maybe not necessarily lecturing or going off at the other, but one of you is sort of instructing it. And then the other sort of just sitting back and listening. So, I mean, maybe this is good. Maybe they won't be aggressive back. They want to hear what you have to say. They're fairly attentive. But the notion of the Six of Pentacles and then that one taking something away from it indicates that this will not fall upon deaf ears. And that whatever it is that you have an issue with or need to discuss or address uh, is, is, is going to be taken in, in, in good stride and taken in good faith. So I like what that represents. I think you have someone who does want to make things work potentially. Um, it is a bit of a juggling act. So it it can be somewhat overwhelming for you this week. I don't necessarily think it's something you can't handle, Pisces, but you may be very back and forth on something. And maybe until you verbalize it or come to some sort of conclusion in your mind, you'll continue this sort of back and forth uh, behavior. So maybe that's something you need to keep an eye out on uh, in the upcoming, because that could help you uh, in some aspect. I will leave the reading at that. So thank you again so much for tuning in.